Wisden called him a, a batsman of great style and execution, almost without any weaknesses. The sort of all-rounder who probably could have made the team either as a batsman or a bowler. Very successful all-rounder, very strong-minded person. And Monty Noble was one of Australia's first great all-rounders. Um, we're talking about the first decade of the, of the 20th century. Um, he played 42 tests, 39 of them were against England, of course, that, that was how it, it worked in those days. And he, he also captained Australia to, to Ashes wins, both home and away. Not many have done that down the years. He was the sort of captain who, uh, who allowed his players a bit of freedom. He had a very successful record uh, as a captain. Uh, was a, a stubborn batsman and seemed to produce his best performances when Australia were in trouble. A bowler capable of taking plenty of wickets, 13 for 77 he took against England uh, in, in a test match in Australia. Uh, and he was, uh, led the way really in Australia's rise in, in that first decade of the 20th century. Uh, such was his influence on uh, the game of cricket in Australia that they named a stand after him at the Sydney Cricket Ground, the M.A. Noble Stand. And it's still uh, there, even though there have been numerous changes to uh, the uh, structures at the Sydney Cricket Ground, the name still sits there, Monty Noble, a fine cricketer from Australia.